Hi, Miss Deb here. Today I'm going to show you how to build a bee hotel. So these, these bee hotels are for wild native bees and these are very important pollinators. Not all bees live in hives or colonies. Uh, many native bees live in dead stems and stalks, homes kind of like this. So in our neat and tidy yards and gardens today, often we don't have the habitat that bees need to create their nests and lay their eggs. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today when you build a bee hotel. You'll have created the perfect habitat for wild bees in your yard. So I hope you'll get out there this week, build a bee hotel, and observe those incredible insects all around. Alright, now here are the supplies you need to make your bee hotel. And what came in your kit, what should have come in your kit are 15 or 20 bamboo segments, little tubes. You should have gotten a little piece of sandpaper and you need two big zip ties. So hopefully those were all in your kit. Some other things that are handy to have would be anything skinny that you can poke into the end of your tube. So maybe a piece of wire. Um, this nail file works great. If you have a skinny screwdriver, that would work really well too. You're going to need some rope or something you can tie your hotel up with to a tree or to a fence post. And then scissors are always helpful. All right, so if you need to gather your things up, go ahead and pause this video for a minute. And then when you get everything together, we'll start in again. All right, now that you got everything together, let's go ahead and build our bee hotel. So the first thing you need to do is you take a look at each one of these tubes, right? One end is gonna be open and the other end is naturally closed, all right? So what we want is we want all of these open ends to face the same direction and you wanna just clean out the end of it just to make sure it's opened up, right? So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna clean out each one of those you don't need to go really deep inside there. Just make sure that the opening itself is um, cleaned up. Kind of like this. Right? These look pretty good already, and you may find that a lot of your tubes already look pretty good, but it never hurts to go ahead and clean it out a bit. Okay. Yeah, see how this, I could have opened that up just a tiny bit more in there. Okay, and you'll notice that these holes are all different sizes, and that's actually what you want because different types of bees may actually make their home in these tubes. And just like people, not all bees are the same size. There. So all of this bamboo actually came right out of my community here. Oh, see, take a look at this one. This end is closed. This is the end that's going to be the open end, but it's got just like some stuff in there. So here's a good example of why you need to check these tubes to make sure that you've cleaned out an opening. There you go, that looks a lot better. A lot of these look really good. Okay. So once you've double checked all your tubes, and they seem like they have nice, good openings. What you're gonna do next is you're gonna take a little piece of sandpaper. Bees like a smooth surface. So you're just gonna sand the surface a tiny bit. Right. Just maybe, oh, I don't know, 10 or 15 seconds on each one. So you're not trying to make them perfect, you're just trying to get the any roughness smoothed away. Sometimes when your bamboo tubes, when you get them, sometimes they're a little uneven and they have little splinters sticking up and uh, the bees don't like that, so we're trying to get rid of that. Just 
about done here? Oh, that one doesn't look all the way open. So if ever you see a little piece of something, just tear it off. You know, this is a good thing to do outside. You don't have to do it outside, but if you do it outside, you have less of a mess to clean up. Bit. All right, now that all of your tubes are cleaned out and they're sanded on the end, we're gonna take our zip ties and take a look at this. You wanna lay your zip tie so that all these little ridges are facing up. It's really important to do that, all right? So lay your zip ties, both of them, with the little ridges facing up. Then you take your bamboo tubes and you stick them on top of your zip ties. And what you want, you're gonna use these zip ties to wrap it up, so just get them kind of even on here, right? And you want most of your open ends to be at about the same place. These tubes are different lengths, so the back will be all uneven, but the front should be pretty close to even. So, take your first zip tie and you're gonna stick it right in this opening. Okay, you're gonna push it through and you're gonna pull it to tighten it up. And what I would do is I would grab a hold of these. And it might, you might have another, might get another set of hands to help you out here. But I would pull these until they're fairly tight, but not super tight. Then I would make an adjustment, get all my ends close together, and group them up. Right. That looks pretty good, right? So there are my fronts. I'm going to even them out. Now, I'm going to take my second zip tie. Again, your ridge ends should be facing up. And I'm going to tighten this around the other end of the tube. There you go. So now, you have a nice bundle, right? Looks like this, back. And you want to get rid of all of this extra zip tie stuff once you've got it on there. So, get a pair of scissors. And you're just going to snip it off. You might want heavy duty scissors. But there we go. So this is now our B Hotel. Okay, now that you've got a snug little bundle, you need to attach either a rope or something that you can hang your bundle up with. So I'm just going to use this rope. I think this is old clothesline actually. So I'm just going to make a little spot in my bundle where I can slide a piece of rope through. There we go. Comes right through here. Perfect. And so what you want to do is you just want to have enough string or rope, you could even use wire actually, that you could tie it around something to hold your bundle up. Well, once your bee hotel is made, you need to locate a good spot to hang it. So spend a little bit of time inspecting your yard for a good spot. So I found a good spot right here. And what makes this a good spot is that it gets morning sun, but it doesn't get full afternoon sun. That afternoon sun is way too hot for bees. They don't like that. It's a spot that's protected from strong wind and weather. It's tied to my fence at the edge of my yard, so that's about three to six feet above the ground. And you need a variety of plants nearby that'll provide any other building materials bees need to create their nests inside those bamboo tubes. So they like to snip off little bits of leaves. They like access to other things. Water nearby is important as well. So, once you've found your good spot, what you want to do is run your twine through both of those zip ties like I showed you before, and give yourself enough string or rope to tie those ends around whatever you're attaching it to. So whether it's a fence post, whether you're attaching it directly to a tree or a garden trellis, um, it really doesn't matter. Um, what's really important is your tubes have to be horizontal to the ground. If they're not horizontal, if for example they were like tipped up like this, then rain would fall directly into those tubes and ruin the nesting spot inside. So either have them horizontal like this 
or even have the open end tipped down a little bit. That'll protect it from the rain as well. So there you go. What you need to do is you need to watch carefully over the summer to see if any bees occupy the bundle. What'll happen is the female bees will deposit bundles of pollen in those tubes during the summer, probably July. And then they're gonna lay eggs on top of that pollen bundle. And when the eggs hatch, the larva will eat the pollen as they grow. So each tube is gonna contain a whole chain of rooms um, containing pollen and eggs. So your bee hotel will need to be replaced every one or two years. This keeps the mold and the diseases from building up inside these tubes and making the bees sick. But a new one is easy to build. So that's it for now. Um, I'll see you at the end of the week, and I can't wait to see how your bee hotels turn out and where you put them.